And I think as parents, we're sometimes disconnected from school. Because we come with a certain way of thinking, a certain way of doing things, and what you're teaching in schools. Like, I've gone through those high order math stats courses, and I'm stopped at grade five and six around math and helping my kids. Because this is so true. And as parents, we get frustrated because we're being asked to do things and support things that we don't have a clue about. But when it comes to the social capacity and character of my children, I'm there. And if I see a teacher at school saying, I want to build into your child, because that's what happened to Aaron in grade five. Because Aaron used to cry every Sunday night, almost like clockwork, because he was so anxious about going to school because he was being asked to do things that he didn't enjoy. Math was not fun. French was not fun. And so Mr. Magnan was a grade five teacher, and he came alongside and he said, Wayne, I understand your son. He says, I'm ADHD. I can't teach in a classroom where they sit in long rows. I have to be moving myself. And so his whole classroom reflected an environment that my son thought was amazing. All of a sudden, my son was saying, Dad, what happens when, you know, did you know that this happened to First Nations? Did you do this in Europe? Did you know that math, they did this? All of a sudden, he was excited about math. And he was actually doing his homework as I was driving him home. I asked him, I said, why is it different for you? He said, I don't want to disappoint Mr. Magnan. It wasn't because of the content. It wasn't because math was fun. It was because of a relationship. Mr. Magnan valued my son. Therefore, my son valued what he had to offer. For many of our kids, that's the connection. It's not just because they enjoy math, it's because they enjoy the relationships at school and who's connected to them. If I, take, if I travel across Canada, we're not doing a very good job with a certain percentage of our kids. On average, we have a 25 upwards to 40% non-completion rate of grade 10 in our education system across Canada. In First Nations communities, it's as high as 70%. Why, what's happening? Why are we missing these kids? In a study in Manitoba, we followed kids for five years who were dropping out of school. And the only factor that I could find that correlated with why they were dropping out was because they didn't have a relationship with somebody at school. They still thought education was important. They still felt that they needed to learn, but they didn't feel valued, therefore they didn't value going to the school. What if we just got into a relationship with them? and switch that around. 